Hi, somebody asked me to explain what I use my knitted breasts for or how I use them. So I thought rather than trying to explain it in words, I would try to create a video that might help. Um, so I'm not sure whether this will work. So here's my, this is one of my knitted breasts. Um, you can get crocheted ones as well. This just happens to be what I have. So what do I use them for? So various things, especially antenatally. Um, talking about hand expressing and how, how that would work, um, kind of positioning fingers and pushing back and rolling forward and being able to work all the way around the breast. Um, I use them quite a lot talking about the importance of where the baby's mouth is and how they latch to the breast. So talking about how if a baby has a very central latch, um, when they're suckling, they're more likely to create pinching and damage um, a pain to the mother's nipple um, and the importance of having a latch that's kind of where the baby comes in chin first and then the top lip over and then you can see that the tongue and the bottom jaws working the breast here and when the baby's suckling they're not pinching on the nipple. Um, I sometimes use this in conjunction with um, anatomical drawings of the breast that show where the glandular tissue is in the breast and the milk ducts coming down into the nipple and how if the baby's latched um, quite shallow and suckling here, they're not stimulating the breast tissue and they're compressing the milk ducts. Um, sometimes I use this as well, which is just a piece of a plastic bottle with a, a balloon in the bottom to represent the baby's tongue. And talking about bringing the baby to the breast, chin first, and the chins and the and the um, uh, bottom jaw is going to touch the breast first and then bring the baby in. So the top lip just comes over the nipple here and that helps demonstrate that the, the baby's tongue and the bottom jaw are down and well underneath the nipple and, and possibly the areola as well, depending on the size um, of the, the areola itself. Um, another way I use them is when I'm talking about positioning and where mums hold their baby and, and whether they hold their breast when they're feeding as well. So um, I'll just tilt the camera. So I usually use a knitted breast and try to explain with my teddy bear baby here that if the mother is holding her breast and moving it around and then bringing the baby that she's going to have to hold her breast in that position. Otherwise, as soon as she lets go, it's going to naturally move back down to where it would sit. And also that um, you know that her breast may not be up here her breast may be more down and round to the side and if that's the case that's where she needs to bring her baby as well so rather than trying to move her breast up and around for her baby to bring her baby down and under to her breast instead um, not very easy to demonstrate on the camera and with a teddy bear but I hope that makes sense